5212 is a formation that is not talked about much in the FC mobile community and through this video I am going to be helping you guys unlock the full potential of this formation Now let's take a look at the perfect head to head squad that you can build using 5-2-1-2. So as you can see, this is a team that I have built using 5-2-1-2 and immediately you can notice Diaby is out of position and Henry is out of position. Imagine playing Henry as a defender. Well this is the trick that is gonna decide the movements and the positionings of the other players. And these two players are gonna play a very important role in the success of this formation. But why use 5 2 1 2? There are so many amazing 4 man defense formations in FC Mobile. Well, the thing about 4 man defense formations in FC Mobile is that your sidebacks likes to play as a winger because my Carlos Puel is everything other than a right back. And once Carlos Puel is becoming adventurous, he is eventually exposing the defense because now the 4 man's defense, the original 4 man defense is turning into a 3 man's defense, eventually exposing the defense. So in order to stop this from happening, I have switched back to 5-2-1-2 and here I am playing Diaby, Diaby can do whatever he wants, he can do overlap, he can do whatever he want and even if Diaby is out of position, I still have a 4 man's defense at the back to protect the goal. If Diaby is overlapping, then my Vincent company is the right back and Adeimi, if Adeimi is overlapping, then Carlos Puel is the left back. And not only that, you can manipulate the formation by bringing your wing backs in a certain position where they are not supposed to be at all. Like if I am overlapping with Diaby, now the formation becomes a 3 man attack formation. So it's a 4-3 three attack but if i eventually bring back like the, the like i have become predictable i have like done too much overlaps like this so instead of overlapping like this i'm gonna go and cut in and now the formation is 41212 so using this one particular formation you can play so many different formations like depending on the situation if my opponent is having say 442 then obviously overlapping with Diab is not gonna be a very good idea because it eventually exposes the difference to a certain extent not that much but to a certain extent so in this kind of situations against those kind of formations what I do what I like to do is that I like to cut in and play Diaby as an inverted wing back and this gives me the opportunity to play passes with Balak, Magregor, Puel, Ademi and to a certain extent Chunil Chetri and Mo Salah as well. And due to their high attacking work rate, both Diaby and Ademi tends to overlap a lot. But the thing is, when Diaby is overlapping, Ademi stays back. When Ademi is overlapping, Diaby stays back. And this is why the midfield, your two center midfielders are gonna play a very important role in this formation. If you take a look at the work rates of the midfielders, it's Michael Balak with a high defending walk rate and a medium attacking walk rate and Modric with a high attacking walk rate and a medium defending walk rate. Now why is walk rate important in this formation? Well the thing is in this formation there is no defensive midfielder. So if your opponent has an attacking midfielder like Zico or someone, there, there, will be, there will be a gap between the defense and the midfield and the attacking midfielder of the opponent is gonna try to capitalize on the space that is created by the lack of defensive midfielder. So that is why the manipulation of walk rate comes in. So Michael Balak, due to his high defending walk rate, if Henry is overlapping, Michael Balak tends to cover Henry's original position and act as a left wing back or set to a certain extent a defensive midfielder because of his high defending walk rate. Now what happens is that when the opponent is attacking, he first has to face Michael Balak. If he gets past Michael Balak, he has to face Blank. And by that time, Henry is gonna be back. So this is why the work rate of the midfielder is gonna be really, really important. But on the other hand, 
if you take a look at modric modric does not have high defending walk rate so modric's natural position the natural instinct of modric is going to be trying to help out the attack and not much defense so if diaby is overlapping the right side is going to get exposed and due to modric's medium defending walk rate he is probably going to be sitting around in this kind of positions so in that scenario vincent company will get exposed but just to make sure that this formation is not becoming too much defensive modric on the other hand is going to play the ball playing midfielder role his high attacking walk rate helps him contribute in the attacking prowess and he is going to play those passes to zico puskas and cruyff and to a certain extent help the defense i'm not saying that he is not going to help the defense but the way balak is going to help the defense and cover up henry's overlaps modric will not do that so if diaby is overlapping this right side is going to get exposed and here comes the four man defense then vincent company is going to be a right back fernandez is going to be center back blank is going to be center back and henry is going to be left back but if you take a look at my main team i'm playing magregor who has a high defending walk rate so i don't have that problem if diaby is overlapping then i have magregor covering up his miss now let's take a look at the attackers in this formation well cruyff has a five star weak foot and a high attacking walk rate puskas hopefully has a high attacking walk rate zico has a high attacking walk rate the thing that i don't want in my strikers in my attacking midfielders in this formation is a high defending walk rate because even surely even though you are doing the overlaps i don't want my striker to roam around here and there because of his high defending walk rate in this formation i don't want my strikers to do the build up job i have the defensive midfielder the wing backs to do that build up job i just want my strikers to be in a goal scoring position in a poacher role they're going to get the pass and they're going to take the shot lucky enough if the ball goes in i want my strikers to be in those goal scoring positions and same goes for my attacking midfielders usually the strikers if the strikers are well marked by the center backs is the attacking midfielder who is going to take those shots and that is why probably five star weak foot is very very important as at if you if you are playing someone as a attacking midfielder in this formation and if you take a look at my attackers i have bobby charlton sunil chetri and hyun min song all of them has a high attacking walk rate and a medium or low defending walk rate i'm playing carlos pool as a center back because he is a center back guys come on and ademi i'm playing ademi because i don't have henry well i could have played uh, ronaldo you know but the reason i'm not playing ronaldo you know is because he is too much attacking and ademi has a high defending walk rate he has a high defending walk rate so like it's just a personal preference i think ronaldo you know, is too much attacking and he gets into positions where i don't want him to be automatically So now let's take a look at how I am going to be executing those plans to get results in head to head. Oh, oh, oh. 